Okay, so we're talking about nutritional interventions prior to the, uh, the Olympics. And uh, so from, uh, from your standpoint, when do you start to prepare for uh, an Olympics from a nutritional standpoint? And, and what are some of the things you're, you're thinking about uh, in, the, in the time before, months or years before? Well, I start thinking about it in the closing ceremony of the, the previous Olympics, actually, because you know, I want to, I want to um, make the most of everything that we do for that Olympiad. And what we do is sit down and start saying what's going to be specific and new about the next Olympic campaign because of the environment that the mm. Olympics are going to be in. We might look at what are new events or the event timetable as soon as we know it. But then we also look at the literature and see what the knowledge is that's evolving. And I guess to try and um, learn a little bit about practice, you know, uh, people doing things that are clever because of ways they've thought of being able to feed things or, um, you know, new products on the market that we could try. So kind of an iterative process through the, through the time, but you're, you're thinking about the environment of the upcoming um, location of the Games. Uh, look, I think everyone's like that. You know, your brain never turns off. It's not yeah. a matter of... of um, this is when it starts. It's just it's you know a continual cycle. What what are some of the, the challenges as you try to take some of the latest uh, sports nutrition science and, and bring them into practice in working with athletes? Um, I think one of the things is is how soon do you jump on something? How how soon can you be sure that one study is going to be reflective of, of all the new literature? Because sometimes you can jump the gun too much. The next studies you know will fail to show something. And then some of the other things are, well, we've seen this in untrained people or moderately trained people, and when you start applying it to elite people, there may not be the same kind of outcome. So they're just two of the things. Mm. And then I guess there's the practicality. You, know, you can do all you like on paper, but if you can't achieve something in real life, in practice, in, a, in an athlete event because of the logistics of the way or the rules in which it's um, mm. worked under, then you know it's, it's, it's just hypothetical rather than real. And for the, for the athletes to adopt new things, how do you how what how do you do that? I mean, well, what's a yeah, that's 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 a good one because <laughs> you've got different kinds of athletes and you've got athletes that are old and conservative and don't want to change what they mm. practice because you know sometimes you know they may only compete in their event once or twice in a year so you know there's not a lot of scope for real right. experimentation and then other cases you've got athletes who just um, yearn for a placebo effect and you've got to reinvent yourself and find something new for them and so even if the same thing's likely to work again you've got to have to kind of reinvent it so that they want to re-engage with you and then everybody else is in between. So you're a bit sports psychologist as well as uh, oh, yeah. sport nutritionist. <laughs> Guru. <laughs> so yeah um, so coming out off the games just a few, a few days ago What's a, what's a high point uh, that, that you think of uh, from the Games? What's a, one of the great memories you'll take back with you? Look, you know, you see all the events that everybody else does and you see just the, the pure sporting achievements, but then there's sometimes there's these little personal things that, you know, you're involved with an athlete and that you're able to um, work with them and, and get them to take on a new nutrition strategy and it leads to something. Sometimes it's a medal, sometimes it's just a personal best, but, um, you know, somehow you kind of feel like you know, sports nutrition works. It's great. Yeah, that's great. Well, I hope you get a little break after this one and uh, take a little time before you start thinking about the next one. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks a lot. <laughs>